Okay, so I wanted to um, follow up after hopefully you've watched the video on Des about the Desmos tutorial showing you kind of how trig functions move and transform and spread out and shift up and down. But you might have to plot them out by hand yourself, so I want to make sure I go through that with you. Um, a few things that you have to watch out for are whether you're in degrees or radians. And you can tell that from the scale. If you look down and you see numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 400, thing like this, in this case this is actually in degrees. So we will use degrees. Radians, you'll usually see it being labeled as well, so the information should be labeled too. Often it is in radians, but just so you can see it in degrees if you need to first. The important thing to do will be to actually make sure that your calculator is in the appropriate mode. So from your normal run menu, shift setup, scroll on down and look to see where you are. Right now I'm in radians. I'm going to flop to degrees because this axis is in degrees. Now go into menu, let's go into table, and we'll go ahead and plot in what we see. So it's not what we see. There, that looks better. So we'll go ahead and plot this graph that we've got here. This equation that we've been given here, two, oops, two cos x um, minus one. So two cos of x minus one. Let's go ahead and get into table, and you can see the numbers in there are lots of decimals and whatnot, which is not too exciting. But an important thing for us is to make sure we've got our window set appropriately. So if we go into set, you actually look. I've done this one from zero out to four hundred degrees. And my steps here are in tens, which are pretty good. So I'm going to put that into tens. And as we go through the values, I'm not going to plot the ones that are retarded to plot. I'm going to look for the ones that are easy to plot. So here's this first one, 0, 1. So at 0, up 1. That's pretty easy. Next one. Looking for numbers that are relatively easy to plot and not absurd. How about 60 and 0? So 50, there's 60. And zero. Continuing on, ninety and negative one. So ninety and negative one. One twenty. So one ten, one twenty. Here is going to be at a negative two. Missed one. Um, 180 and negative 3. So negative 3 is here. And at 180, it should be there. 240 and negative 2. So you can see it's starting to come back up again. 270 and negative 1. 300 and 0, and 360, and it's back up to 1 again. So that's a complete cycle. If we were to keep going, we'd be able to see it decrease again. But basically what we want to do now is loosely connect those dots. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's important to try not to make the ups and downs pointy. So. That's sort of all right. It'll pass. Okay, so just watching your scale and watching what you have to set yourself into. So as a follow-up example, so you can see the radians, let's look at another one. Here you'll notice that the scale is actually in with pies. So you'll notice that it's going to be in radians, and I would tell you that it's radians. So you can actually change it in here or from the other menu. If you go to Shift Setup again, scroll down, and you'll see your angle there is in degrees. Let's swap that back to radians. Okay. So this new equation we want to put in, minus sin bracket 2x bracket plus 1. If I go into table now, crazy numbers. Not fun. So let's double check and make sure we got reasonable things to plot. So we'll go into set, and here you'll notice it's actually um, yeah, not looking that great either. 
for us, but we can be clever with this. This is going from 0 to 3 pi, so let's go to 0, and then for 3 pi, literally enter it in 3 shift pi, and it will calculate it for you. And for your step, what is this stepping in? This is stepping in quarter pi, pi divided by 4, so that step by shift pi divided by 4, a quarter pi. Okay, crazy decimals, but the numbers will look much better in the table. So we go into the table, you can see that. We've got numbers like 1 and 0 and 2, which is quite nice. So use the graph, use the scales, and use it to help you set what's going on. And don't be afraid to use the pi button to calculate it out exactly. So, catch us remembering that each of these crazy decimals is just one line on the axes, so we kind of have to go through them. So the first one's 0 and 1. Second one is going to be at the first line and 0. And then we go back to 1. And then we go up to 2. And you should recognize that 3.14 is back to pi, that's 1. You might expect this pattern continues down to 0, up to 1, up to 2, down to 0, and away you go. It should be the same the whole way through. So if you start to connect these through, again, try to curve them a bit. You've got your graph drawn on there. So, there you are. Watch out again for degrees in radians, and um, it's usually in radians, but if in doubt, um, you can try both and see what makes sense, but it'll usually be radians.